Let's have a look at Isaiah, the book of Isaiah in the Bible. In the 29th chapter, in the 12th verse, there's something remarkable here. And it says, And the book is delivered to him who is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I am not learned. This passage is remarkable. First of all, the Prophet Muhammad is referred to as the unlettered Prophet, the unlearned Prophet. The Prophet Muhammad, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, couldn't read and he couldn't write. He did not study scripture, not like Jesus, who was brought up amongst the rabbis and even at a young age, he amazed people with his learning of the law. So Jesus, may God's peace and blessings be upon him, was learned in the law. But Muhammad lived in Arabia, a pagan land. People did not know about the scripture, except for a few people amongst the children of Israel, some Jewish tribes who lived there. Otherwise, they were ignorant of that. And the Prophet Muhammad himself was not learned in the scripture. And he's called Ummi. Ummi means not learned. And so it's exactly as the Bible is saying, the book, and one of the names of the Quran is Al-Kitab, the book, is delivered to him who is not learned, who is Ummi, saying, read this, read this, in Arabic, Iqra, read this Iqra, the very first verses that God revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, as every Muslim knows, what was it? Iqra, read. The angel Gabriel comes to the Prophet Muhammad, while the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he is meditating on the mountain, the Jabal Nur, the mountain of light overlooking Mecca. He's sitting there meditating. He has escaped the troubles of Mecca, the polytheism. He goes there to think about God, about creation, about humanity. And it is there that he receives on the night of Ramadan in his 40th birthday, he received the angel Gabriel comes to him, says to him, Iqra. And the Prophet says, I can't read. Again, the angel Gabriel says, Iqra, but this time he takes the Prophet and squeezes him. And again, the Prophet says, I cannot read. Now the angel Gabriel squeezes him even more tightly and says, Iqra, read. The Prophet says, what shall I read? So this is exactly what happens. The Prophet says, I am not learned. I cannot read. How can I read? I'm not of those who can read. This is exactly how it is mentioned in Isaiah 29, 12. Check it out for yourself. And I must admit that when I first was reading the life history of Prophet Muhammad, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, as a Christian who used to be familiar with the Bible, I remember that passage from the Bible and how exactly it fitted the passage I was reading about the life of Prophet Muhammad and what happened in this event that I had just described. It was truly remarkable.